In this video, you'll learn how to set up DMARC authentication for your Beehive publication. SPF, DKIM, and DMARC are essential email authentication protocols that help protect your domain from email spoofing and phishing attacks. Setting them up correctly is vital for improving email deliverability and building a positive domain reputation. As of February 2024, DMARC is a mandatory authentication protocol for all Beehive accounts using a custom domain. If you're not using a custom domain and rather a Beehive subdomain, there's no need to worry about setting up DMARC authentication. To get started, head over to our DMARC wizard with the link below and follow the instructions. First, I'll ask for the custom domain you'll be using to send emails with via Beehive. If you're unsure what custom domain you're using, log into your Beehive account and go to settings publication and domains. And here you can see which email domain you're using. In the DMARC wizard, I'll enter the root domain and hit next. Note that you'll see a pop-up on screen if your domain already contains a DMARC record. This means you can skip over this tutorial as you've already successfully set up a DMARC record. Next, you'll be asked to define the strictness of your DMARC policy. DMARC policies specify how the receiving server should treat emails that fail SPF and or DKIM authentication. The three DMARC policy options include none, which will do nothing and just collect and report data, quarantine, which will move unauthenticated emails to the spam or junk folder, and reject, which will reject unauthenticated emails outright. In this example, I'll hit quarantine and then hit next. Now it'll ask me to set the percentage of emails that the policy should apply to. This percentage determines the portion of your domain's email traffic to which the previous policy you selected should apply to. The default recommendation is 100%, although you can change this number later if you'd like. After you select a percentage, hit next. Now finally, enter an email where you want reports of domain misuse to be sent. Note that DMARC reports can flood your inbox and have a potential for high email volume. So you might want to consider using a dedicated email address just for this instead of a personal one. Also, be aware that this email address will be publicly visible in DNS records. Once you hit finish record, you'll now see a DMARC record. And the next step is to copy and paste the following record into your domain's DNS settings. Here I've logged into my DNS provider, GoDaddy. The first thing I'll be doing is locating the DNS settings. If you need help locating these settings and are using a different DNS provider, please contact them or read their documentation for the best results. Now that I've found the DNS settings, I'll simply add the same DNS record that the DMARC wizard has created for me. Here I'll click on add new record and copy over the values from the wizard. I'll select the TXT record type, enter underscore DMARC under name, and paste in the DMARC record under value. Now that I'm done, I'll click save. Once you've published your DMARC record, you can use a lookup tool to see if your record is live. We've linked a free one below that you can use. Simply enter your domain and the tool will tell you if you have a valid DMARC record or not. For in-depth documentation and frequently asked questions about DMARC authentication, you can check out the support article below.